Do you need a question or can you just sort of talk about the magnitude of so much from so many all seemingly at the right time? Yeah, but, uh, this is this is where we are right now, you know, and this is this is temporary. This is not, uh, you know, um, a, a full season deal, but we just got to wrap our minds around that it's all hands on deck and uh, each game is its own journey. Um, and we're going to need our, our full roster um, to contribute. And it'll be different guys uh, at different times in the games and and different things in different games. Um, you know, uh, because we had some different lineups out there, clearly. Uh, but, um, you know, the second unit guys uh, really just gave us some inspiring basketball uh, out there. Um KZ gave us some really important minutes, you know, uh, as they were shuffling in between playing big or small. Um, he was able to to play both those uh, kind of lineups. Max obviously hit some big shots uh, that we needed to, uh, against a very good defense team. Um, and then Caleb is just a great competitor, you know, as a as a head coach. Uh, I just really enjoy watching him work every day and watching uh, his approach uh, to this and and. And watching him compete, um, the guys love uh, playing with him. Uh, he inspires everybody with his uh, crazy efforts um, and his competitiveness. He's just a—he's our kind of guy, and uh, he really—he really impacted this game. A lot of winning plays. It was clear after the last week that the the man-to-man -man defense needed some sharpening, some tightening. What changed? Like, what kind of a process was it the last couple of days? And also, how much, of, how instrumental was PJ Tucker's voice in, in kind of? Oh, well, I mean, uh, not just his voice, but his toughness. Uh, um, you know, his ability just to take on all the big challenges. You know, whether it's Giannis uh, or Middleton, or sometimes with Holiday. Um, you know, we were able to keep our defense at bay. You know, um, at certain points during the game, because of of his toughness and savviness, uh, and you just can't teach that. That that's just being a, a great competitor. Um, and yes, his voice uh, just constantly um, calling out schemes. Um, you know what we're, what guys where they're supposed to be, um, encouraging guys and getting on guys and huddles. Um, all of that. Um, you know, it was 10x. Uh, what was your second question, or the second guy? Oh, I mean, yeah, we needed that. Like, look, our our, our schedule has been um, hectic to say the least. I mean, we've been all over the place. Uh, you know, traveling, you come back, and none of us really unpacked our bags. Um, you keep it half packed, you know, because you know you're going back out. Um, and you know, we've had some practice days. We haven't had. You know, many of the days where we've just been able to get in the lab and just watch film and, and find the things uh, that have really been hurting us and then, you know, take these steps to, to correct it. It's not like this is just going, you know, to, to happen right now. Um, this is a, a an everyday process that we have to commit to while we have, you know, some guys out and we'll just have to continue to work. And none of that work also guarantees anything. You're just trying to get incremental, you know, improvements. Um, and then it always helps when you have an inspiring game like this. Kyle told us after last game, maybe I have to shoot more. I was so focused on playmaking. Tonight he did both. Yeah. I mean, so is that just the measure of who he is, that he realizes a little more is needed on offense, but he doesn't want to also change who he is? Yeah, I think that's – that's. Um, well, how do you say that? Like uh, uh, that's one of his genius qualities um, as a – NBA basketball player and, and savant that he knows what's needed for a, a team at that particular time. And that he's done that throughout the course of his career. And he's been able to be a leading man, a second guy, uh, or just a setup guy. Uh, and while we've been, while we were healthy, he was just a setup guy and really helped our, our game um, offensively. But we need, you know, the all star either leading guy or second guy, or however you want to define it. But we need that right now until we get, you know, the rest of the guys healthy. He understands that. And he also knows that, um, 
you know, at certain points, it, it means just making the right play. You know, it's playmaking or or scoring, which we needed in the second half. And he did all those plays in the second half with only one turnover. And the first first half, he was the first one to say, you know, I've, I've got to take care of the ball better, and we got to manage that uh, better. And he, he did that, uh, you know, in a, in a great way. Eric, not that any one person is taking Bam's role, but P.J. had a very Bam-like uh, line today with the 15, 8, 7, and the two steals. How capable is he of being that sort of do everything big for you? Well, that's one of the things that we just wanted to give a, a vision to, you know, that um, Bam is like, is, you know, one of the most unique players in this league. You just cannot put him in any kind of conventional box on either side of the floor. Uh, his versatility is, is so dynamic and it's unique. Uh, but PJ, you know, has a lot of those qualities, and uh, and we need that right now. So, um, you know, that that vision is. Well, we said while we're working through this, you know, we'll use PJ in a lot of the ways that we used Bam, and um, and he's he's showing us that he's capable of, of a lot of that. Um, he's he's a a very smart player. Um, you know, so I already think that he's one of the best screeners, if not the, the best screener um, in the league. Uh, those kind of guys, you usually can give more, put more on their plate, and they'll be able to figure it out. And that's what he's been able to do. And it's just we need that right now. We need somewhere where the, somewhere else where the ball can go, and we can run some offense. And just how um how difficult and how quickly do you have to make those like decisions in terms of who's playing when you've got the all hands on deck mentality because yeah you got some closers out there that weren't out there yeah everybody has to be stable and and understand that these are quick decisions and they're not always going to be the right decision um but different segments of of these games are going, going to call for different skill sets and tonight you know, we really felt that we needed that versatility defensively. They they can get you moving around, and uh, you know, as they did when we played them in Milwaukee, they had us scrambling all over the place, and they got everything in the paint, uh, transition, and threes. Um, you know, the some of the defensive versatility lineups that we had, um, at least, you know, the, it's make or miss still, but at least we weren't scrambling around, you know, like we were, um, or like how they can make you do that often.